Close your eyes and focus your attention on your breath. Watch it as it comes in, watch it as it goes out. Notice where you feel the process of breathing in the body. It's not just the air coming in out of the, through the nose. It's a whole movement of energy that allows the air to come in, allows it to go out. And you can feel that anywhere in the body. So where do you feel it? Focus your attention there. Make sure it's comfortable. We have these good potentials within us, so we might as well take advantage of them. We have a sense of well-being here in the present moment. The mind is a lot less likely to run out and do unskillful things. So you're not the only one who benefits by finding a sense of well-being right here. Other people benefit when you do that as well. This is the kind of goodness that gets shared around. Today we're going to have another ordination. Another member of our community is going to go forth to do battle with his defilements, and we're here to express our appreciation, our encouragement, our support. Because people who do good things in the world need to be appreciated. Not so much that they need the appreciation, although it does help, of course, but just to spread that goodness around. If people don't appreciate goodness, then they're not likely to help, they're not likely to follow good examples. And that way goodness dies out of the world. But when we appreciate one another's goodness, that's when goodness stays. So learn to develop this quality of appreciation. When you see something, someone doing good, okay, express your appreciation, either inside your own mind or to the person. Give encouragement. Because you look inside your mind and you have all kinds of attitudes inside there, skillful attitudes and unskillful attitudes. And sometimes the unskillful attitudes get very strong. So it's good to have a way of encouraging the skillful attitudes inside your own mind. So you look around and look at the goodness other people have done and are doing, and you appreciate it. That strengthens your own goodness. The Buddha was very wise. He knows that we all want happiness. There are two ways of finding happiness, one in which you gain happiness but someone else has to lose, and the other in which you gain happiness and other people gain happiness as well. And so he encouraged that second kind, because that's the kind of happiness that breaks down barriers in the world. Something that breaks down the barriers between the people of different races, different cultures, different backgrounds. We're all here because we appreciate goodness. It does not matter where we come from. It's our appreciation of goodness that ties us together. In this way, the pursuit of happiness becomes a wise thing. You gain happiness and people around you find that their happiness increases too. So they're happy for your happiness. That means it's going to last a lot longer. So always take this into consideration when you're looking for happiness. Make sure that it's not a zero-sum game. Make it, make it a positive-sum game. One in which everybody benefits. Then more and more of us will be encouraged to do what we can to fight off our own defilements, because we see good examples in front of us. <laughs>